Hey everyone, here's a quick look back at week one from a fantasy standpoint. This better be quick because I have Chipotle waiting for me outside. Do you think I could use this show to get a Chipotle gold card? I'm going to make this easily digestible for everyone. We're going to do it green light, red light. Of course, I'll throw in some yellow light in there as well. Quick reminder that the final fantasy scores will be updated overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday. So Wednesday, you'll see the final score updates. We'll start your engines. It is a green light. Green light for the Vancouver Whitecaps as a whole. New York was not very good in this first game, but I think it was more Vancouver being great than it was New York being bad. You look at guys like Sebastian Fernandez, $7 million as a midfielder. What a performance he had, scoring a fantastic goal, almost set up a couple of them. He is going to be an integral part in the attack, as is Pedro Morales, the new Chilean midfielder. He's a little bit more expensive at $8.5 million, but people are going to be jumping on that bandwagon. He didn't start that game. He's going to get in the starting lineup, and when he does, he is going to be racking up fantasy points. All these guys are going to benefit Kenny Miller, who at $8.5 million, he is the forward I think you want on Vancouver. He's the guy who you know will be in the lineup. Yellow light, Bobby Burling, $5 million defender for Chivas USA. He's the answer. He's the starter for now next to Carlos Bocanegra. If you had him in your starting lineup, gold star for you. He's a cheap starter at center back who apparently has Blake Griffin-like ups. What a goal he scored for Chivas USA. But caution here, the team from Southern California are not the most athletic team. They lack team speed all around the park, and they have the high-octane offense of the Vancouver Whitecaps coming to town. This might not be pretty on Sunday. Red light, high-priced attackers like Robbie Keane, Landon Donovan, and Federico Higuain. They're all on a buy this week. You don't want that kind of cap sitting on your bench. So get them traded out. Get other people in who are going to score you points this week. Because look, a lot of people are going to trade them out anyway. You're going to lose money on them if you keep them on your team. Green light. Corey Ash and Kofi Sarkoti, defenders for the Houston Dynamo, $7 million and $6.5 million respectively. Look, when you go out and you win 4-0, everyone is going to score a ton of fantasy points. But these guys were active on both ends of the field, which is very important for getting those assists and secondary assists in the attack. They're both moderately priced. And look, on top of that, they play against a Montreal team who gave up three goals this week against FC Dallas. Yellow light, Diego Fagundes. He's owned by a lot of players in fantasy who might be panicking right now after that 4-0 loss to Houston. But if you watch the game, Fagundes was very active in the attack and he was close to having a goal and an assist. Oh, Kellen Rowe, keep it down. Keep him, but proceed with caution as we try to figure out what to make of these 2014 Rebs. Red light, Toronto FC players. Everyone is excited about Bradley, Defoe, Gilberto, and De Rosario taking the field together. But look, these players, they're going to form a formative attack one day. Right now, they have not had much time to gel. My advice would be to lay off until you've seen them all healthy and on the field together. Not to mention, they start off with a tough road opener in Seattle. There are plenty of other places you can spend your fantasy dollars. That's all the time I have for you on this edition of Starting Lineup. I'm going to go find Andrew, and we will be back later in the week with plenty more fantasy advice. I'm going to go eat my cold Chipotle now.